So in order to understand why heat always flows from hotter objects to colder objects, it's going to help if we first understand frogs. So here's a simulation of a frog. And the main thing to understand about this frog is that it's hopping around randomly. I don't know about real frogs, but this frog is definitely hopping around randomly because I programmed him to do so. Points in a random direction and then hops. And if we watch the frog, sometimes he goes to the left and sometimes he goes to the right. The right hand side happens to be orange and the left hand side happens to be blue. It's not actually any hotter on the right or cooler on the left. We can see that the frog doesn't seem to prefer one side or the other. As I said, he's simply hopping around randomly. But now let's see what happens if there are many frogs. And so in this simulation, we start with 150 frogs on the right and 10 frogs on the left. And we could just watch what happens. It's going to take a while, so it'll be helpful if we make the frog speed up a little bit. And so what you notice is that overall, there seems to be a flow of frogs from the side with more frogs to the side with less frogs. And after a while, even though there were many more frogs on the right-hand side initially, there are going to be roughly the same number of frogs on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. And it's not just a fluke. We could repeat the experiment as many times as we like, again, starting with 10 frogs on the left and 150 frogs on the right, and we can speed up the frogs, see what happens. And so again, we see that as time passes, we seem to get more and more frogs on the left-hand side. And if we wait long enough, then the number of frogs on the left is approximately equal to the number of frogs on the right. So if we can understand why the frogs in the simulation always seem to flow from the side with more frogs to the side with less frogs, that's actually going to give us the understanding of why heat always flows from the hotter side to the colder side if you have an object, or from the hotter side from the hotter object to the colder object if you have two objects together.